Hey guys, welcome back. And in today's video, well, I'll be talking about the best free VPNs for Windows. Now, if you use Windows, then you know how important it is to keep your devices secure um, while online. Now, the best ways to accomplish this is by using a virtual private network or in short, a VPN. Now, a VPN basically encrypts your internet connection and hides your IP address, which lets you browse the internet safely and privately. Now, using a VPN is especially important when using public Wi-Fi or untrustworthy networks, since it protects you from hackers and data thieves. But with so many options out there, how do you know which free VPNs are the best for Windows? Now, normally, I would not recommend using a free VPN for several reasons, which I'll be getting into shortly. For starters, free VPNs may not offer the same level of security as paid alternatives because they often don't have strong encryption and other security measures. Now, a lot of them may have some useful features, but those might even be hiding behind a paywall, which makes the whole idea of choosing a free VPN over a premium one pretty redundant. Second of all, free VPNs have data or bandwidth limits which restrict your use of the VPN as soon as you pass the data cap. This can be an issue if you're just casually um, browsing the internet when all of a sudden you reach the data cap, taking away the sense of safety and online security since you'll be vulnerable and unprotected all over again. And finally, some free VPNs depend on selling user data or displaying advertisements for revenue, which means that even though the service is free, you might be paying it with your personal information. Now that doesn't sound too appealing since you want to use a VPN for sake of online privacy. So having that happen to you just goes against the point of using a VPN at the first place. Now, as a result, it is important to think twice and consider these potential drawbacks before using a free VPN. Now, in some cases, it may be worth investing in a paid VPN service to get the best security and performance overall. But if you're looking for safe free VPNs, I recommend using Proton VPN and TunnelBound. And I chose these two specifically because they have a good privacy policy that does not profit from the sale of your data. But naturally, you'll still face some limitations since these are free services services after all. You'll only have three countries with Proton and the speeds will be throttled for two reasons. The first is that the servers are naturally congested because they're free. And the second is that the faster servers are served for paying customers. But what makes Proton appealing is that you still get a kill switch and split tunneling and there's no data cap so you can keep using it without any fear of bandwidth limitations. Now, TunnelBear lets you access all of the locations but there is a two gigabyte data cap so you'll quickly run out of data and have to subscribe. And not to mention that using free servers will prevent you from accessing streaming services or downloading torrent files. So if you don't want to put up with these restrictions and are looking for a premium VPN, we compiled the list of our top recommendations after researching and weighing various options. And here are the top three premium VPNs. And so I've been regularly testing the best and most popular VPNs and have narrowed it down to Express, Nord, and Surfshark as the best three VPNs overall. Of course, they all vary in budgets and features, yet they all have a kill switch. They're excellent for torrenting, and they all consistently work with streaming services such as Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon Prime Video. And that's why these are my favorite three, but depending on your situation and preferences, one of them may be a better choice for you and I'll explain why. Now, starting with ExpressVPN, and this is gonna be the one to get if you're looking for the best overall, fastest, and easiest to use VPN, and it has the most verified no logs policy, which was demonstrated through a real life stress test proving that they don't collect or track any user data. It has over 3,000 servers in 94 countries, which is a big number of countries allowing you to easily access content from all over the globe. Plus, you can secure up to five simultaneous connections per account, and it's compatible with most devices. And so ultimately, whenever people ask us what the best, most reliable VPN is, and don't mind spending a few extra dollars to ensure the highest level of reliability, Express is our trusty go-to choice for those looking for a premium VPN. Next up is Nord. VPN and Nord is what I consider the best value of VPN. It has over 5,400 servers in 60 countries. And while more
more servers does not necessarily mean better service. This can help with speed and latency, especially if you use a VPN for gaming, or if you want extra features such as a threat protection, which blocks ads, malware within websites, as well as protect your device from harmful files, which is a neat little feature. And so Nord kind of gives you more options to fiddle with, and that's where the value for the money comes from, especially that it's about as fast as ExpressVPN in terms of performance and will let you secure up to six devices per subscription as opposed to ExpressVPN's five device limit. So all in all, if you're someone looking to have a few more options in your VPN, then Nord would be the one to get. And then finally, Surfshark is our pick for the best budget VPN. And while it has all the essentials like Express and Nord, it's not quite as fast as those two. Although with Surfshark, you're allowed to virtually secure an unlimited number of devices with just one account. So it's a great option if you don't want any simultaneous connection limits. You also get over 3,200 servers in 100 countries, which is a lot. You still get some bonus features such as an ad blocker for blocking pop-ups, two types of specialty servers, as well as no borders mode and rotating IP, which can be very useful if you're looking to use your VPN in a restrictive country. So ultimately, if you're looking to spend the least amount of money, but still have all the core features of a premium VPN, or if you need a VPN that allows you to secure all of your devices, or if you have a large family, then Surfshark is the ideal choice. And so to sum it up, these are definitely the best in the business. Express is a premium VPN with a strong emphasis on security and utmost anonymity. And it's perfect for those who are privacy conscious and are looking for the best VPN overall. Then NordVPN is a well-rounded high-performance VPN that offers a lot of value for the money and is ideal for those looking for bonus features that can be useful in a variety of ways besides base VPN functions such as a strong encryption, secure torrenting, and working with streaming services. And Surfshark is truly the best budget VPN that gets the job done without sacrificing any of the necessary security features that you usually get with more expensive VPNs. And as an added bonus, you get to share it around with as many of your friends and family as you like, which is a great plus. Now, if you're interested in Surfshark, we have an exclusive discount we can offer for fans of our channel, and I'll show you how it works. So if you directly go to Surfshark's website, the deal you currently get is 24 months for $249 per month, saving 81%. And with other channels and websites, you'll get two free months and an 82% discount. However, if you use our exclusive coupon code, you'll be getting three free months in total, saving you 83%, which is the best deal available on the internet. So that's it for this video. Again, if you're interested in any of these VPNs, you'll find links to pricing and discounts as well as in-depth reviews in the description down below. And feel free to comment down below if you have any questions as I love getting to interact with you guys and like and subscribe if you found this video helpful or would like to stay up to date with future videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.